Okay, I'm just making a video of my um, my adventures in messing with my new deli plate. I'm kind of late to the party, I think. Um, <clears throat> I was one of the individuals who made their own jelly plate, the homemade one. But I was in the city recently, so I picked up a real jelly plate. And it was about a little over $50 Canadian to buy it. So I got my stuff ready, a bunch of... Um, Stencils that are homemade and, well, not necessarily homemade. I should say cut with my Cameo, my silhouette. Mm, I didn't want to get too crazy, so I just put out about six or seven of them. That's one that is commercially made. And this is a hand cut one that I took a picture in a, uh, I took a photocopy of an image in a book and then I enclosed it in Mac tack and then cut it by hand and that's how I had done a lot of my um, stencils early on and then I got some hand cream it's like uh, it really helps to get that on my hands before I start doing any painting I have a whole, whole box of a shoe box of paint and my little found textural objects that I'll be using. And um, I covered my counter with brown paper, craft paper, the kind of paper that Amazon uses to send stuff. And it wraps things in it. And I got this uh, sponge roller that I'm going to use. A little Tupperware cake spread or icing spread or thing. A speedball brayer. And my little eight by something jelly plate. And a lot of copy paper. Uh, my iPad to keep me company. And what else do I have? Um, I have a sink of water to throw my stencils or any other uh, painted thing in there that I can wash up later. And I have my wet t-shirt uh, remnants that I use for cleanup. They're nice, they're cotton and absorbent and, and then I can reuse those old t-shirts for that purpose. And I'm going to get started now.
Okay, well, hopefully this is <clears throat> good enough lighting for for the... I don't think it is, but I shall try. Um, here are the prints that... The jelly prints that I did <clears throat> for my first try out with the jelly... What is it called? The jelly printing plate. Jelly arts. Jelly printing plate. And as you can see, it's a little discolored now, but that's no big deal. I will still continue to enjoy it. Just going to quickly go through my results. I I like this um, print and how it turned out um, where it's the ghost print left um, and then you just put on a layer well it dries a little bit and then you put a layer a different color and pull that and um, the first one is very subtle <clears throat> some I wasn't really thrilled with and I found that the more I hated them the more I just put uh, a layer of black <laughs> black paint on and having put black paint you can always go back and put um, use it as if you were using a black piece of paper Some stencils worked really great and others not so good. And that was a commercial um, stencil that I bought at the store. I wasn't happy with it, whether that was my fault or fault of the stencil, I don't know. So like I say, some that I really hated, I just um, went ahead and blacked them out because I can just go ahead and... Um, use the lighter paint on it later on so if you hate that if you're in hate with it black it out and then it'll be ready for you next time you want to do some printing and then I also used tissue it's not very wasn't too bad it strengthens the uh, the tissue afterwards and here's one I like this stencil it's a hand cut stencil on Mac tack and I wasn't happy with the, the lack of detail on it thanks for watching bye